Welcome, guys. Welcome. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me clearly, please type one uh, in the chat room to let me know. Uh, hello, trade mail. Hello, I'm Arif. How are you? Good afternoon. Hello, Tommy. How are you? Right, let's wait for another uh, two to three minutes. Uh, then we will start today's uh, presentation about our uh, latest switch range. Right, okay, uh, it's half past four now, so I think it's the time to start today's webinar. Uh, this is Scott from LightSmart Technical Support Team. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so let me put my presentation slides uh, in the screen. Right. Uh, uh, welcome to another episode of LightSmart webinar. Uh, this is Scott from LightSmart Technical Support Team. Uh, it's been a while since the last webinar. Uh, so during this year, we have released a bunch of new product range. Uh, so here we think we, uh, we should update the latest product with you guys. Uh, we will start a new webinar series from now until the end of this year. Uh, please uh, keep an eye on official LifeSmart social media account like Facebook, LinkedIn, and our official webinar website for latest information. And uh, if you guys don't know uh, what we do and what we offer as a full solution, uh, please also leave your contact here. We will get our sales team to contact you. Uh, and by the way, welcome uh, uh, UL Root uh, from Korea. Uh, Sherry told me that you guys are all here for, for this webinar. Uh, thank you for attending this webinar. Okay, uh, today we are gonna talk about lighting switches. Uh, four parts, from basic concept to the light smart, smart switch uh, range and the benefit of fitting a light smart switch, and also the latest product range. Uh, so here I have, so here I have a, a blend switch, blend switch here. and also a blend switch metal version. And also I've got a blend switch, uh, no neutral wire solution with me at the moment, uh, which I will demo later. So let's uh, focus on today's uh, training slides.
And if you guys have any questions during this webinar, please feel free to leave them in your chat box. I will come back to you uh, afterwards. So what, I, what is a lighting switch? What is a lighting switch? Uh, basically, uh, in Wikipedia, uh, lighting switch, uh, sorry. In Wikipedia, switch is explained as in electrical wiring, a light switch is a switch most commonly used to operate electric lights and permanently connected equipment or electric outlets. So here we list uh, three different and the most common switch size in our life. All right, I think the screen is not showing four 20 slides, let me adjust my software here. Just hold on one second. Yeah, that should be okay now. Uh, so here we list the three most common switch size uh, in our life. The first one is 86 by 86 millimeters, uh, commonly used in China, Hong Kong, uh, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, MENA area. And the second is 120 by 72, uh, commonly seen in US, Japan, Philippines, and, uh, uh, and even other, some, uh, some other countries. And the last one is 80 by 80, commonly seen in EU areas. Uh, so before you are going to choose a smart light switch, you need to clear, clearly know what kind of size you are going to fit in your country. Uh, light smart offers 86 and 120 type uh, smart switch. For 80s, 80 type, we offer smart module to make the switch smart. And in electrical wiring, there are basically two wiring types. The first. The first here is a switch that requires a neutral wire, and the second is a switch without neutral wire. That makes the switch two completely different systems. You will also need to know what kind of wiring systems you are going to fit in your project. And LightSmart offers solutions for both of the cases, which I will show you in the following slides. So why do we need a smart switch? Uh, let's see some figures here. Uh, so this is a non-user's frequent behavior. Uh, it, all, uh, it, it happens often in our life. You can see, you can tell from here, uh, nearly 51% of people, they have had an experience that they accidentally left the lights on. So if we add up those electrical bills, that would be a huge cost and also a huge energy waste. And with the concept of carbon neutrality brought up during these years, energy saving always a key point when we think about smart switches. Uh, and when I talk to one of our users in China, the most frequent to use smart automation in his home is one button to turn off all the lighting switch when he leaves. He does not, uh, and after using this automation, uh, the only thing he needs to do uh, before he leaving his home is uh, he just need to simply press the button, uh, the cube clicker uh, at the entrance of his home. And then he does not need to be wondering whether the lights are turned off anymore. So this is the, uh, one of the typical smart applications for, uh, for using a smart switch. And the benefit of uh, using smart switch is you can turn off all the lights uh, remotely. Uh, so in order, to, in order to not waste any, any energy anymore. And another benefit uh, of using a, a smart switch is the, the design. Uh, and let's see another picture. Uh, in most people's home, we can see a very common switch like this. But is switch just a switch? 
uh, can be more good looking and versatile. That's, that's why we develop our uh, smart touch panel range called Nature Mini, which has a graphic interface for users to edit and play. And that's the two key benefits uh, of using a, a light smart smart switch. And let's see what we have now. Okay. So what do we have now? Uh, we have a complete range of switches uh, for neutral wire systems. Uh, so from uh, the physical keys uh, to touch version uh, to even graphic versions like Nature Mini Pro, Nature Mini L, and also uh, the uh, smart modules, and also the latest range, Blend Switch Pro, uh, from 1 GAN to 3 GAN version. Uh, let me adjust my screen here. I think some of the information is still cut. Just hold on one second. Yeah, I think that's, that should do the trick. <laughs> so uh, these are the highlights of our lighting switch with neutral wire. Uh, I will not waste through all the points here. However, one thing you need to notice is that we now support status memory after a power cycle. Because we notice in some areas there are a lot of electric outage could happen, and the users tend to have their lights back on the status before, so our engineering team added this function in the latest range. And we also offer another range for no neutral wire system. This no neutral wire switch utilizes a battery that can last at least for five years to avoid any of the flickering issues that could happen in other no neutral wire smart switches. So uh, let's uh, cut into the topic we are going to talk about today. What is new about light smart switches? The first product I'm going to uh, uh, introduce you is the touch panel Nature Mini L, the industry-leading smart home control panel. Uh, this was released, released earlier this year, right after we released the Square Touch Panel Nature Mini Pro, uh, and let's see what it can do. Uh, Nature Mini L is a versatile lighting switch. It can act like a smart home gateway, a digital door lock, a touch panel to control your home, and a substitute for your conventional switches. Mm. Uh, and with Nature operating systems, you can control all the systems at your home from lighting, automation, curtains, HVAC. We also offer 1GAN, 2GAN, even 3GAN version to replace your traditional switches. And not only we see rectangle switches being fitted vertically, we see it being fitted horizontally in a lot of, uh, in, uh, in Southeast Asia area. So our research and developing team adapts the Nature Mini LUI to a landscape mode, so our partners don't have to worry about how the switch is fitted in the project. So from the picture you can see here, 
on the left hand side is the vertical UI and on the right hand side is the horizontal uh, landscape UI so you don't have to worry about whether uh, the switch is fitted uh, vertically in that project or horizontally in that project you just go to there uh, go go to the project fit the product there and adjust the UI uh, according to uh, according to the install installation method uh, of the uh, nature mini L Uh, we will answer all the questions after after this training, so you can leave all the questions in the uh, in the chat room. Right, this is a typical application scenario of uh, the Nature Mini L, uh, the entrance, bathroom, or even bedroom. And until now, we can see uh, the landscape mode is still a very unique selling point. We are the few companies that offers a rectangle touch panel, which support two, di two display modes. And another point is that Nature Mini L supports 2.4 and 5G, wi 5G Wi-Fi at the same time. You don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi systems the user fitted in their home. You can connect either 2.4 or 5. And because uh, the router we see today, uh, more and more routers support 5G, or they use uh, uh, 5G as their default frequency. Uh, so a lot of times for other Wi-Fi product uh, only support 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, you cannot connect those devices to the routers, and you you will need to manually adjust the frequency to 2.4 on the router settings. So it, it, there's a lot of uh, uh, setting up time, so the uh, which equals to a lot of labor cost. So if we enable 5G. Uh, on Nature Mini L, you don't have to worry about that. You just connect whichever or whatever Wi-Fi you would like to connect to. And uh, in Nature Mini L, we feel a very powerful but a low energy uh, consuming chipset uh, to make the systems running smoothly and the energy saving at the same time. And in Nature Mini L, we use the Linux systems rather than Android uh, to avoid any a heating uh, problem uh, because we see a lot of uh, touch panel manufacturers in the market uh, they simply use the Android because Android uh, is more flexible or it's more compatible and it's easier for them to develop uh, an Android app uh, 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 on the Android panel but the uh, Android panel like you know uh, it is just basically like your Android phone and if you're using this Android phone a lot of time and you constantly power it or if you are constantly running some app onto the Android panel, uh, the heat always become a very big problem. So sometimes if, uh, when the user are using those Android panels, they will feel like the, the, the panel is very hot. So that's not, very, uh, that's, um, uh, that's not a very good user experience and we think that will uh, uh, affect the lifetime of the product. So that's why uh, in Nature Mini L, we use the Linux system to develop the Nature OS to make the uh, systems last longer and run more stable uh, in, in the lifetime. And as a convention in our switch range, Nature Mini L is compatible with Google, Alexa, and Apple HomeKit systems as all the, all the other switches. So basically, this kind of free uh, uh, smart home platform compatibility is our standard for our uh, live smart smart switch range. Okay, and Nature Mini L is just one product of uh, our Nature range. For more touch panels, please let me know in the chat room. We will get our team to contact you.
All right, next one. Uh, the second smart, uh, the second new switch I'm gonna introduce is Blend Switch Pro. Uh, if you are a Light Smart partner for years, uh, you must be familiar with our best seller, Blend Switch. So Blend Switch Pro is the latest product we release. Uh, that is an upgrade of the Blend Switch. So let's check out what 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 kind of stuff is being upgraded. Uh, so design-wise, uh, we are inspired by uh, minimalist design. So we think design is also a very subjective topic. People have different perspectives seeing a product, and their taste is always different. And that's why we always put our product to compete in those international award contests to let those professional organizations to back us up. So Blast Switch Pro has won uh, IF Design Award in Germany and a Good Design Award in Japan. And let's see some uh, application scenario pictures for your reference. So fit it in a home, fit it in the kitchen, and as well as in the uh, uh, living room. So uh, let's uh, dive a bit of details of this product. So appearance-wise, uh, it uses a large and flat panel. So it's much easier for users to touch the switch, and the boardless design can blend into a lot of furnishing style. And same as the old blend switch, uh, we also fit an LED light in this panel. Uh, because most people have had an experience when we get up uh, during the nighttime, uh, it's always difficult for us uh, difficult for us to accurately find the switch and turn on the light. So fitting an LED light uh, will resolve that dilemma. And we spend loads of time on doing experiment and testing on the buttons. This time, uh, we have upgraded the touch feeling in two perspectives. And the first is that we adopt a matte finish, matte finish coating on the switch, rather than, rather than smooth and a slippery surface. And secondly, a silicon material is added inside the button that makes the click sound more advanced. Uh, and we are always proud of quality. Uh, this is uh, exploded views of this smart switch. Uh, so safe and protection. Uh, uh, we support a very wide range of voltage to adapt, in, to adapt into different countries' voltage. And we used a 16 amp relay inside the switch to make the lifetime longer. And then the material is flame retardant. And based on the Blend Switch Pro, uh, we are also looking uh, at to do more versions. Uh, metal version is now released. And as you can see uh, here, uh, the difference is that we change the surface material and also the LED light comes from the dot on the button. And for other versions, we now accept a customer requirement when there is enough quantity. And based on Blend Switch, uh, Blend Switch Pro uh, and uh, as a standard, as I mentioned before, so uh, as a convention in our light switch range, uh, Blend Switch Pro also supports Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa, this kind of uh, standard uh, uh, smart home platform. All right, uh, last but not least, uh, as we talked earlier, that there are two different lighting switches. Uh, the one needs a neutral wire, and the other is no neutral wire version. So Blend Switch Pro also has a version that supports no neutral wire systems. So uh, the front face is basically the same. The only difference is the base. 
so there are one base that supports neutral wire and the other base uh, don't require any neutral wire and fit in a battery inside so it can operate by the battery uh, by the battery power so it can uh, avoid any of the flicking issue uh, rather than other uh, 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 tr uh, traditional or conventional uh, smart switches. And these are some typical applications of uh, this switch. Uh, entrance, uh, living room, uh, washroom, even uh, the whole room. You, you can equip those kind of switches uh, wherever you want. And further on talking about individual product, you must be curious what kind of smart things our solution can offer. Uh, here is a very frequent use case, uh, two-way control, or as known as two-way traveler control. Uh, uh, two-way control means that you have two switches or even more switches, and uh, they control uh, a same lighting bulb, uh, a same lighting bulb, uh, say for instance, uh, usually in our uh, in our bedroom, uh, there are two switches control the uh, the lighting bulb in the middle of your uh, in the middle of room. Uh, the first switch is at the entrance of your bedroom, and the other switch is at your bedside. So those two switches controls the same uh, same lighting lighting bulb. So uh, uh, in conventional switch systems, you will need to do some additional wiring to achieve that. But by light smart switches, you only need to uh, wire one switch to the light bulb uh, and make sure the switch you wire to the light bulb can control the lighting systems uh, correctly and for the other switches you will just need to give it a power and set up an automation in app so that it can, it can wirelessly control the uh, first switch to achieve double control or even multiple control in that way Uh, uh, so you need, uh, in the app, you need to go to AI template. After you fit in all the switches, go to AI template, choose multiple control, and fit in, uh, fit, uh, and fill, it, fill the switch. Fill, it, fill the switch you would like to do. That, that need to be linked. So that's it, simple as that. Uh, compared to additional wiring, it saves a lot of labor time. And another smart application is the one I mentioned earlier. Uh, one key to turn off all the lights, uh, to turn off all the lights. What you need to do is that you need to uh, set up a scene and it turns off all the uh, lights in advance and also use a cube clicker. You can, uh, th this cube clicker is a scene trigger. So you can attach this cube clicker wherever you want. Uh, usually we'll attach it in the entrance of your room and then uh, go to the same uh, page in app, uh, the automation page, and pick from the AI library, and choose one key to start things template to enable that functions. All right, uh, I think presentation-wise, uh, that's it for today. And another thing I would like you guys to know is that we, because uh, uh, from last year, we are holding uh, online webinars regularly. So there are still a lot of uh, webinar recordings in on our website. So if you go to our official website, iot.ilifesmart.com, and if you go to the support webinar, uh, you will see all the history uh, recording videos for, for our uh, webinar. So uh, in last year, uh, we also talk about the lighting series, the lighting switches. Uh, so there are a lot of, uh, I, I would say it's a bit hardcore uh, technical information in there. So if you are interested in how to wire the systems and uh, what's the uh, technology, detailed technology inside, you can revert back to the uh, uh, webinar last year. And there are also loads of other uh, uh, product presentations in that. So I think presentation-wise, uh, that's it for today. Uh, do you guys have any questions?
whale boat from uh, Philippines. Uh, is the log setting can be uh, is the log setting can be changed? Uh, meaning 24 hour or 12 hours time settings. Uh, well, uh, I think it is. Uh, this is already. Uh, this has already been in our requirement for. Uh, we have raised this uh, requirement to our uh, under team, and it's just a. I think it's just a simple UI UI thing. Uh, let us double check uh, the schedule of this requirement, and we. I think we can uh, support it by a, by an OTA upgrade. So let us double, com this, double, confirm, uh, double confirm the schedule and get it back to you. All right, uh, let me check. Another question is, is, it would be nice to change theme background to certain photo. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, that's something we are going to do uh, in the near future because uh, we released, I, I think this is a, a really new product from our range and we are, uh, our R&D team, uh, I would say they are flat out doing new functions and optimizing the stability of the UI. So uh, I can see there is a requirement uh, raised uh, for same background uh, change. I think this will be real, uh, uh, this can be uh, uh, achieved in the later update of this uh, product. And another question from. Johan Bandera, uh, please can you do us a seminal for how can we figure uh, for how can we figure the switch? Uh, well, uh, for triggering the switch, uh, basically you need to fit the switch and the switch and the switch uh, in the app uh, uh, because uh, because I don't uh, because uh, for triggering the switch, I think it's very straightforward. Uh, how about this way, Johan? We will consider it uh, to do in the next uh, following uh, 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 sessions. But if you are if you are having trouble or difficulties uh, on triggering the switch, please contact our Live Smart Technical Support team. Uh, we will answer the questions and we will guide you uh, how to trigger the switch. Uh, is there a limit on on the number of switch I can use in multiple multi-way control? Uh, well, uh, technically, technically, uh, there is no limitation uh, in multiple control. Uh, the multiple control, uh, the only limitation is the is the uh, capacity of your smart station, the gateway. So because all our smart uh, all our li uh, smart light switch, they uh, they need to wirelessly communi communicate with the gateway, our gateway called a smart station. Uh, so uh, the limitation is not on the multi-way uh, control automation. The limitation is on the capacity, uh, the 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 co uh, the uh, device quantity that can connect to a smart station. So for a traditional, for a conventional uh, uh, smart station, uh, the model number is LS0A2WH. Uh, this uh, uh, most frequently used uh, smart station can support up to 100 devices. So as long as the device is, uh, uh, is below 100 devices, uh, that, that, that should be okay. 
And is it possible to set a switch with functionality like the cube clicker? I mean, one, two, three, click setup. Uh, is it possible to set the switch with functionality like the cube click? I mean, one, two, three, click setup. Uh, do you mean to enable the uh, to trigger different scenario mode uh, in order? Say, for instance, one click, uh, the first click is trigger scene A, and the second click is trigger scene B. The third click is trigger scene, uh, scene C. Uh, if that's the case, that, that's doable. There's an a AI template uh, in our automation setup. You can choose that AI template. Uh, to uh, to trigger different things by uh, a cube clicker in order. Uh, and is the consumer able to replace the battery if it mal if it malfunctions or runs out uh, from shade space? Oh, uh, right. That's a very I think that's a very uh, good questions. So. Let me change the view to my front camera. Uh, that's a very good question. So how to change the battery? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's it. So basically, uh, I, have an, uh, I have a light switch with no neutral wire version here. And it can work. So if I click the button, it will turn on the light bulb. And if we click again, it'll turn off. So it's working now. And uh, the power comes from it. Uh, the power for it is the battery inside. The battery inside. So if you want to change the battery, what do you do is that you see there's a, a button here. What do you need to do is to use, a, a, to simply Take apart the front panel, and you will see there's a battery inside. There's a battery inside, the blue battery inside. You just need to take out the battery and replace a new one. And put the new one back on. And put the switch back up. Put the front panel back up. That's simple. Uh, from a service point of view, I would say uh, we always recommend you guys to help the users to change the battery. But if the labor cost is uh, um, very high and very big, uh, you can also record a video uh, on how to change the, uh, the battery for the users to change by themselves. So I think design-wise, uh, we, we already considered that. So it's quite simple to change your battery. And um, how long can we use the battery? Right, the battery can last at least for five years. So at least for five years. Uh, commonly, we, uh, with, uh, commonly for this kind of switch, it can last for five to seven years. And another question is from engineer Muhammad. Uh, can I turn on switch by smartphone without smart station? Uh, no, you cannot do. Uh, uh, because we are a full solution provider, all the systems, uh, all the systems control, uh, all the controls uh, goes from the smart station. So uh, you will need a smart station uh, to control, remotely control your switch. And for smart stations, we have different versions. Uh, we have proper one, uh, LS028, the big one, uh, the square one, uh, and also uh, in other, in for, for other kind of uh, switch, like this Nature Mini L. Uh, it's a touch panel, it's a lighting switch, and it also uh, built in a gateway. So you can use Nature Mini L as a gateway uh, for a single room application scenario. You can connect all the uh, smart switch to Nature Mini L, so that 
you get a touch panel, you get a lighting switch, and also you get a gateway. Uh, also you get a gateway at the same time. Uh, what about the security features from Salim? Uh, are you referring to security features like uh, CCTV features, this kind of stuff, CCTV range or door lock range? If that's the case, uh, uh, that's a separate topic. Uh, we will uh, hold another uh, session on that. And you can also check uh, the, the, the webinar, uh, the history of webinar we talked about uh, the security systems. And is there a way to group switch nature blend? with Nature Mini without using Sync from True True. Group switch Nature. Without using Sync. Uh, well, if you, if you would like to group control anything in our systems, like to group control a bunch of lighting switches, a bunch of uh, light strips, a bunch of uh, uh, HVAC systems, HVAC uh, modules, equipment. Uh, the thing you need to do is to group them in the scene and put that scene in the touch panel or in, uh, to link it on the certain uh, button of a switch to trigger, uh, to trigger that. So you will need to use a scene to, uh, to, to achieve that. For blend switch pro, for blend switch pro, for blend pro, no neutral model, only use one line. If we change to traditional switch, as it works. Uh, well, uh, to answer that questions. Uh, so basically, uh, the neutral, no neutral wire systems uh, uh, lacks of the neutral wire. So uh, let me uh, show you the switch here. Uh, sorry. So what do you can see from the uh, uh, this switch here, uh, this is a neutral wire switch. On the back of it, you can see there's a uh, line in, live wire in, neutral wire in, and the line one, line two, line three. So those, uh, those two lines are the power source for this kind of switch. And for other three, so uh, three sockets is to control the equipment you would have to control, like the lighting bulb, like the lighting systems. So if it is, uh, uh, no neutral wire systems. This is a no neutral version. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's only line in, there's no neutral wire. So, this kind of systems is we specifically designed for, uh, for those uh, existing house or existing project that uh, doesn't have any uh, neutral wire fit in. So, uh, in that way, uh, it is compatible with the uh, conventional switch. So basically, if the conventional switch can work in that systems, this kind of smart switch can work in that application scenario as well. So it's a replacement. Can you tell us range of the cost coverage of Nature Mini L? Well, for Nature Mini L, I would uh, recommend to use that as a gateway in a single room application scenario because it is fitted into wall, onto wall, and it, uh, uh, some part of it, some of uh, some part of the back part of it, is embedded in the wall. 
so which will affect the coverage, the wireless signal in some way. So I think, uh, so from uh, our pers perspective, we think it's okay to cover a single room. Uh, that is within uh, 50 square meters, that should be okay. But if it is, uh, there's a wall in between, or if it is larger than that, uh, we don't rec recommend to use a Nature Mini L as a single gateway. To, uh, we recommend to use a proper gateway. And uh, how long can we use a battery? Yeah, five to seven years. And we try to use this battery operating systems as switch for magnetic locking systems. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, the switch itself uh, can uh, not only act, act uh, uh, like a uh, traditional lighting switch, it also can uh, act like a smart module to control all the other uh, uh, DC or AC systems. And is your product accessible to any distributor in South Africa? I would love to market your product. Yes, in, in South Africa area, we do think we have uh, distributors. Uh, can you leave an uh, email uh, here so I can get our team to contact you? And what is our basis that the switch battery will last for five years? Uh, well, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. So uh, when I mentioned for five years, if you, uh, if you check for other uh, players or other uh, hardware manufacturers or smart uh, home manufacturers uh, among the market, you will see a few companies can, uh, can do uh, for five years. Uh, this is because we are using our own uh, protocol, wireless protocol called COS. Uh, th this proprietary protocol, uh, one of the key benefits of this protocol is a super low power, uh, uh, a super low uh, power consumption. So by using this protocol, uh, our switch, our battery powered switch, can last for five to seven years. If the switch, or uh, if other switch is using Zigbee or Z-Wave. Uh, they can never see they can last for five years. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's something uh, from the technology principles, uh, technology basis. Because our uh, cost is running on 433, uh, the power consumption is uh, much lower than those uh, other common uh, wireless protocols. And is the battery available in the market or is it only available through LightSmart Ryan, from Ryan? Uh, basically, uh, those uh, switches uh, we adopt uh, uh, is uh, those standard industrial uh, switches. So uh, for the one I just demoed, uh, I will type the uh, Uh, I'll type the number. Uh, okay. So those are the two uh, model numbers we are using. Uh, the first is CR1, uh, uh, sorry, there's a typo there. So it should be CR120A and the other is Uh, 18650. Uh, those are not common in uh, in retail store, but that's a common industrial uh, battery. So as you know, Tesla, uh, Tesla Model S, they are using uh, in their battery in their battery power pack, they are using this kind of uh, battery inside. We, can, we cannot access your AI control systems. We can trigger and connect the switch and instrument that platform. Uh, Johan, uh, I cannot get the point very clearly. 
And I do believe you encountered some issues when setting up the systems. If you can contact our technical support team or your distributor, I think we, uh, we will get back to you on this case very soon. And if there is no uh, uh, reply, uh, please also leave a message on our email. You can con uh, you can tell uh, you can connect uh, you can send an email to our support email, which is uh, uh, support at ilysmart.com. We will get back to you on that case. And another question from Freedom Mail is: What about AC switch? There is it workable? 220 volt, watts. Uh, what kind of AC switch uh, are you referring to? Are you talking about the electrical systems? Is AC? AC DC is AC, or what kind of AC? Or air conditioner systems? So our switch, uh, the power of uh, the power requires for the switch for our smart switch is uh, from one uh, one hundred volts to two hundred and twenty volts AC systems. Right, guys. Okay, uh, I just added some of smart DP switch, twenty amp, four thousand watts. Uh, for that kind of switch, I think it's. It's beyond the usage of smart a uh, home application. This is for twenty amps. I would believe that's a that's a heater or a boiler, right? Am I understanding this correctly? Uh, we don't uh, currently we don't have a switch that supports twenty amp uh, because this is very huge. Uh, uh, our switch or our switch adopts sixty amp relays inside it. So anything uh, below 60 amp should be okay, but if it is above 60 amp, I would recommend to connect additional uh, accessory called a contactor. So if you would like to con uh, if you would like to connect our switch to a device that above uh, 60 amp, uh, connect a contactor in between. So the smart switch controls the contactor, so the contactor can control. Uh, the, the the equipment, and the contactor is a very standard uh, accessory in the in the market. If you search contactor electrical contactor online, you will find so many uh, spec uh, of that contactor: twenty amp, thirty amp, even sixty amp. So that's the solution we have for those uh, big power consumption equipment. Nature switch. Any icon, do we must order from factory? Uh, well, uh, if you are referring to our other, uh, the other uh, switch, uh, the another switch range called nature's called nature switch. Uh, and if you want to, uh, the uh, the icon on, on, uh, we have default icon. If you don't have, if you don't have any customized requirement, we will send out the default icon. But if you have the customized requirement, uh, you need to contact our team to, uh, to, 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 to confirm what kind of icon and what kind of customizations you need to do on that switch. So we can confirm what the quantity should be like and what the pricing is like. So this is more of like a customized requirement.
All right, we got another new questions. Hey, in my market, USA and Central America, the size for blend will not fit the regular wall socket. What is the close closet? Other options. Well, I think in USA market and in American market, uh, let me show you show my screen here. I think in USA, uh, the switch size should be this one. Am I, am I understanding this correctly? So this should be a common size uh, in US. So if that's the size, uh, 2.75 inch by 4.5 inch. Sorry, let me do a quick calculation here to centimeters, uh, inch to centimeters. I think that the fire is closed. You have it? Yes, I didn't see the fire. It's closed. It's closed. It's closed. 2. Well, if that's the case, I would say the close to one uh, Just hold on a second. Uh, if that's the case, uh, if that's the case, I would say the, 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 the closest one is this one, 120 type. So if you want, uh, if you would like a sample to test, I would recommend, if it is uh, neutral wire systems, I would recommend the polos, polar, polar switch, uh, 120 type here. And if it is a uh, no neutral wire uh, systems, we also have a, a polar switch version for that. And also, uh, Nature Mini L. If you want to think, if you want your project more smart and more advanced, I I would also recommend to fit this Nature Mini L in your system. This one here. So those are the uh, size we designed for U.S. and Japan market. Right. Okay. Uh, right, guys. I think the email was banned from uh, by YouTube. Uh, so So if you have any technical questions, please contact this email, support at ilifesmart.com. Uh, don't forget the I here, support at ilifesmart.com. Okay, but the design for the polar mod not as nice as the other and the nature mini out for some customer pricing. Uh, right, I think they are more um, uh, they are they are more uh, switch range uh, switch range coming uh, in the uh, in the following months. 
So because uh, our focus at the moment, uh, uh, we invest a lot in our syringe range. So I would believe that because we are fitting out one touch version of the uh, one touch version uh, 120 uh, type of switch, uh, so in the future we will release uh, equivalent for that uh, touch version. And also, uh, also if the if the systems you are using is uh, we uh, that has neutral wire, that has neutral wire. Uh, we also we can also re uh, we also recommend to use the cube switch module here, so that you can make the conventional switch smart. While you're filling out the other one twenty type. Uh, because it's a very old old product, uh, we found we find that uh, it's 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 been designed and released for like uh, at least four to, uh, four to five years. Four to five years. Uh, there are a lot of things we cannot change, and there's a lot of uh, dilemma we are facing uh, in that range. So that's why we are filling out that product, uh, and uh, we are going to release the uh, equivalent for that. And another question from Delina. Can we divide it into groups or zones? Sure, for sure. You can divide all, the, all our devices uh, in our app. Uh, in the app, you will see there are different groups, group settings. You can, add, or you can always add new, new groups uh, or new areas in the app. So you can, keep, uh, you can sort out all the devices and keep all the devices in order. Right, if there are no further questions for today, uh, let's call it for today. Thanks very much for, uh, for all of you guys attending this uh, webinar. Thanks for your supporting. Uh, we will see you, uh, we will see you the end of this uh, month. We will uh, hold another webinar talking about uh, uh, talking about the smart shading systems. So uh, stay tuned and keep an eye on our uh, official uh, social media account. Thank you guys. Thank you. That's it for the day. I hope you guys uh, all have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.